Whatever you do in the martial arts, you need to, to protect yourself, to be safe. The safety gives you more confidence. That's why we need to bandage the hands. There is two areas which is most important. Your wrist is eight small pieces of bones which sits in this area and all the nerves through your fingers is going through this. So if you damage your hand, we will have problems in the shoulder, with the neck and etc. And number two is knuckles because this is the area you hit the bag or you hit the opponent and whatever. So first of all, you need to focus on these two areas when you bandage your hands. There is many kinds of, of bandaging in the, in the market. When you buy wraps, do not buy wraps which is very, very thick because it gives your hands too much stiffness. It stiffs and you don't have a flexibility on your hands. And um, number two, buy a wraps which is long, not too short. It's much better if it's too long than it's too short. Now we can start the bandaging here. The first thing we do, we make a pillow. I choose one very simple way to bandage the hands, which is easy to adopt so you can learn it and do it better. What we do first, we make a pillow. We can just go around like four, three times. This is what we need to put on the knuckles. When you bandage your hands, you always make sure that your fingers are flexed. So all the small muscles in your hands comes to the flexion. When you are finished with the bandaging, which it should be, after my opinion, elastic bandaging, not the stiff one. The elastic is much better. So put the pillow over your knuckles, not here, a little bit over. You can see later on why we do that. So going around two times here, no, it sits good. So we can just continue that way. And we come to the wrist. Not too hard, not too soft. And because the Greta flex the fingers, so I can go a little bit hard because later on, when she relaxes the hand, the blood circulates. So when I come to the tunnel here, I go right between the fingers, coming back, two, I just continue that, two, and three. So now we have a little bit extra bandage here. So we are going to tighten that. When we come here, now the tunnel have a backup. So if you hit a little bit wrong, you have a backup which protects your tunnel, so you don't injure. Now going up and take care of the tunnel, coming back. And here we go. If you have extra here, so you can just continue some few rounds over and inside. So this is one. If you do it yourself and nobody is helping you, when you make a pillow, you can keep it with your tamil. And after you went twice, so it sits. Then you can continue. The other hand. Is down. Two. Back tunnel. Small one. Middle one. This one I went without this, but we can do it because you have enough. Now, as you see, when she relaxed the fingers, it feels kind of good, not too hard. And that's why we had this, the pillow over the knuckles. So when you hit, you have extra protection on your knuckles, okay?